Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Michael, the one, the only, the Iron Horse Historian. Today, we will be discussing the Union Pacific Gas Turbine Electric. The gas turbine electric can trace its roots back to the unsuccessful steam turbine design. The first gas turbine electric can be traced to number 4000, an experimental engine built by Westinghouse and nicknamed the Blue Goose. Railroads such as the Chicago and Northwestern and the Pennsylvania Railroad did test the engine but didn't end up using it in regular service. The reason as to why the Union Pacific was interested was due to the size of its territory and the engine's sheer attractive effort. Number 50 was the first test model and was a joint venture between General Electric, who made the internals, and Alco, who designed the car body. While the first GTEL was a joint venture, the next two models would be built chiefly by General Electric. There were three variants of the gas turbine electric built over its 20-year service career, two of which had their own distinct nicknames. The first generation of GTELs were numbered 50 through 60, entered production in 1948, had a top speed of 60 miles per hour and a tractive effort of 77,800 pounds. They ran on a BBBB wheelbase, had a length of 83 feet, 7 and a half inches, and for the horn, they came out with a twin Leslie Typhon A200. The second generation of gas turbine electrics were nicknamed Verandas, numbered 61 to 75, entered production in 1954, had a top speed of 69 miles per hour, and had a tractive effort of 105,000 pounds. They ran on a BBBB wheelbase, had a length of 83 feet 6 inches, and for the horn, they came built with a twin Leslie Typhon A200. Third generation of gas turbine electrics were nicknamed Big Blows. They were numbered 1 to 30. They entered production in 1958, had a top speed of 65 miles per hour, and had a tractive effort of 145,000 pounds. They ran on a CCCC wheelbase, had a length of 132 feet 6 inches, thanks to the booster unit, and for the horn, they came built with a Leslie S5T RF. A total of 55 units were built for the Union Pacific, and they were the sole operators of these mammoth engines. Other railroads such as the Pennsylvania Railroad and Chesapeake and Ohio did use turbine engines, but Union Pacific were the sole operator of the gas turbine electric. From an operational standpoint, they were good engines, with these monsters of a locomotive lasting in service for two decades. In terms of its horsepower and tractive effort, they were phenomenal workhorses. However, its main issues were as follows. While cheap at the time, the bunker seat oil it used became more expensive since it could also be used in plastic products. Also, since it had a jet engine built into it, it was extremely loud. In fact, due to its excessive noise pollution, several towns in California actually banned it. Also, like the short-lived steam turbines, it was only truly efficient at high speeds. All in all, it was the rising fuel cost and noise pollution that ended the service life of the gas turbine electrics. All but two GTELs were scrapped. However, a literal piece of them lived on. The trucks of the GTEL would be reused on the U50 and U50C. Two gas turbine electrics include the following. They include Big Blow number 18, which is located at the Illinois Railway Museum, and Big Blow number 26 at Ogden Union Station in Ogden, Utah. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.